Fifth Avenue charged with parking at an expired meter on Green Street. Uh, I was taking my son to SSI. Uh, my wife, she was putting the money in the meter. Where's your wife? Right there. Well, get her up here. And the meter wouldn't take the money. I went to SSI for my son. I came out, and all the cars had parking tickets, Your Honor. All the cars had tickets? Yes, sir. Yeah. And you, you are here to verify his story? I'm the one that tried to put the money in the meter. Uh, get, get, move out of the way. Get her next to the mic. I tried to put the money in the meter, Your Honor. Yeah. You know, and it would not take it. What kind of what coins did you attempt to put um, in? Quarters. Yeah. Well, I'm talking to her. Quarters, some dimes. Dimes? Yep. Did you try to put any pennies in? No. No, you jammed the meter. It, w it didn't take not one dime. The meters only take quarters. I mean, everybody. Ev <laughs> everybody in North America knows the meat. Yeah, I know this, Your Honor. You know it, but yep. she's so she testifies. She's putting in dimes and other. That's her fault. No, no, no. Other coins. Now you're throwing. Oh, 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 oh. I don't want to. Now you're throwing. Nice. That was a oh, meter. That's a great. Yeah, that's a, there you go. It's a, this is a wonderful situation. He's throwing his wife under the bus. It was a fault. It wasn't me. You want to you want to use this to talk to him? <laughs> Listen, I live with him. You know what I mean? So. What is your first name? Lydia. Lydia. All right. Lydia, remember, if you ever have occasion in the future, right, to place coins in a meter, right, only place quarters in a meter. No, it does not take any other coins. The other coins just serve to, right, to either clog the meter or, uh, or, it, or it will just take them and it won't register, right? Just Quarters. Lydia, I'm going to dismiss it. In spite of your husband, I'm going to dismiss it. <laughs> Not because of him. So when you leave, I don't want him saying to you, see, I did it for you, right? <laughs> when you walk out, I want you to say, listen, in spite of you, I got the case dismissed, right? Well, thank see, you. I didn't need you. I didn't, I didn't need you to come in. I'll buy you coffee with some quarters, all right? All right. I'm going to give you a break. Thank you. Yeah. All right, good luck. So here's your logic. I, I saw a police okay. car up front with the lights on, and I had a red light, and I went through the light so I could get, I could hit, the, hit the police car. Well, it was a yellow light when I looked at the light. Deborah, I'm going to... Uh, yes, sir. I'm going to just tell you for your own benefit, okay, that when you're driving and you see these big arms up with cameras, you know, they actually take pictures of you. I mean, you have three red light violations. Three. Yeah, you, may I just say one thing? Yes, if you can say, you can say more than I one want, thing. I don't want to I just want you to know that uh, in the future, if I were you, I'd look and see if the cameras were there. Now, there also may be a police officer on the corner, I'm not sure, but <laughs> the cameras, they're stationary, they're not moving, and they're not hiding. So what is it you want to tell me? Well, what I want to say is that when I came over to, uh, to, to uh, sign in, uh, I was told that I had a, I had, I came only for, for two violations in, actually on the same day, uh, I'm saying embarrassingly, uh, they told me that I had another violation in April that I, I never got a ticket for. Uh, so I really, uh, the only thing I really want to say is if I had gotten the, the, the um, if I had gotten the ticket in April, these two wouldn't have happened because I would have known just, I had to stop. Do you, do you understand? Do you follow me? Oh, I know what you said. <laughs> I, did, did you have a major in logic? Uh, no, no what, I, what I, majored in, was, I majored in I music, first, actually. If I got the first ticket, the second two never would have happened. Exactly. Because, I, because then I would have known I have to stop at a red light. Exactly. <laughs> well, I was making, a right, hand, the, I was making a right hand turn. Did you ever read the driver's manual? I mean, it was so long ago. I, I don't even know what I had for breakfast. So long ago? That I read the driver's manual. Oh, before oh, we got that address. <laughs> yes. This just happened. Yeah, right. All right. Uh, would you like us? Would you like us to show you? No, no. The video in which no, you no. star. No, no, please don't. No, you don't want to. I've see seen it. it. Oh, you have. Yes. All three of them. Only two, because I only got these two tickets. Oh, you want to see the third? No, it's no. okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pay the clerk. All right, the next case is the matter of Anthony Castellone. Mr. Castellone, it charges you with parking at an expired meter on Culver Street. Is there anything you want to tell me about this? I wasn't aware that 
the meter was expired. Well, have you have you been charged with an expired meter in the past? No, this is my first experience. First experience in traffic court? In a traffic court. Uh, circumstances that morning, I wasn't thinking much of it. I had to go to the, the hospital for, for tests and exams. So I, I saw this place to park and I parked. The leasing company sent me this statistic. My first, my first re really reading that I, I had an exper expired or a tag. Oh. Was the, yesterday was the first so time I got this. Did your wife give you hell for getting the ticket? Not really. She, no. the, she just, don't take care of it, you know. Well, well, take care of it. But you know, you represent the best of America. Here you are, you know, I'm not sure how old you are. But 87, probably, uh, 87, 87 years old. Still, never had a parking still, ticket, never been in court. No, right? as I say, it was an experience today. So you come in and you sit here all morning. Well, I want to congratulate you on your previous uh, driving record. I want to congratulate you on being a good American, you know, which is what, how we try to view this country, people like you that are part of that great generation. Uh, this ticket's dismissed with Thank our gratitude you very much. I appreciate that, Dr. Okay, good luck. Good luck. I intended to get out of harm's way, and I messed up. You sure did. The judge has ruled that it's time for you to follow Caught in Providence on Facebook and Instagram. Stay connected and get access to show clips and exclusive digital content. Hello, Your Honor. Carrie, good morning. Carrie, you're good morning. going through a red light on Service Road 7 and Broadway. We're going I, to show you a video of it. I watched the video myself. I only wish that it had audio. If you notice, there's a policeman right in front of where I am. Lights, please. Hi. Let's watch it, then we'll okay. talk. Okay. Light is yellow. Red. Okay. Oh, it's red. You are a substantial distance before the red light. There is a police mm -hmm. car that is stopped on the other side of the service road. Right. Now, before we even run this, what is it you wanted to tell me? Put the lights on, please. Okay. Um, I think I was taken aback by the fact that there was a policeman there and I needed to move out of the way, and I, I'm sure that's what, you know, I was focusing on at that point. I certainly would never in a million so years now I'm going to ask you go a through a red light I'm going to ask right you in front a, of a policeman. I'm going to ask you a question and one honest answer. I'm going to, let's assume you were sitting here with the robot and I was there and I said to you, I was coming down the service road and I was about uh, 30 feet from the intersection when the light turned red and there was a, a police car turn on the other side of the road about 300 feet from me and I went through the red light. I am a nervous, whenever I see a police or an ambulance or anything, I'm like the one that gets out of the way and if you look at, at the if, car. If you were, everything you just said, yeah. right, addresses the issue that you should have stopped. If you, you saw it, okay, you see, because they tell you the statute is that if a police car is even coming in the opposite direction, you're supposed to pull over and stop. So using your logic, you should have, you never should have gone through the light. So I here's your logic. I, I saw a police Sorry. car up front with the lights on, and I had a red light, and I went through the light so I could get, I could hit, hit the police car. Well, it was a yellow light when I looked at the light. The Honestly, light is now was... red right now. Look where your car right. is. But when I looked at the light, it was yellow. And then I'm looking at this policeman that's right in front of me on my lane. And so I try to move out of the way. There's no way in a million years I would ever yeah. obviously go through a red light in front of a policeman. I, I intended to get out of harm's way, and I messed up. You sure did. The video speaks for itself. The video speaks for itself. You were well before the light when the light turned red. The fact that there was a police car on the other end of the street mitigates against you, doesn't help you, you know. And if, you had, if you had indicated that there was a police cop coming up from, from behind you with the lights flashing and so forth and you thought you were in Im imminent danger, then I could understand that you went through I was the just nervous. I understand that. This is not a crime of moral turpitude. Don't get nervous. You don't, don't get emotional. It's not a crime of moral turpitude. It's a red light. You went through the light. Quit. This is silly, sorry. Okay, it's 85 pounds. Okay.
Lita Guerrero. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Can I have an interpreter? Can you have an interpreter? Yeah. Do you you just you just asked me to have an interpreter. You speak better than the interpreter. Oh, really? You have two charges of going through a red light. Take a look. The light is yellow, it's red, and there you go. There's no question about that. The, the, uh, oh, that wait, wait a minute, me? we're going to see the other one. The light is yellow. Mira. It's red, and there you go. Uh, we just showed uh, Ms. Guerrero two red light violations, both of which uh, it's abundantly clear uh, that she went through the light. She also has a parking ticket on George Street that she paid. So I'm going to dismiss the parking ticket. Ask if there's anything she wants to tell me about the red lights. Te quitó el ticket de parqueo porque tú lo pagaste. So te quitó lo que tú debías y le quieres saber si quieres decirle algo acerca de las dos luz rojas. El de la branch fue mi novio y él lo pagó ya. Y el de la Bali fue mi hija. Que por eso yo vine porque no estoy trabajando y no lo. The one on Branch Avenue, she said it was her boyfriend and she said she paid. He paid. No, he didn't pay. He paid them. No, 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 paga. There was, there was ten of them. Judge might have paid the other eight. He sent, no. he sent the money through the mail. Yesterday. Yesterday, he sent it yesterday. And the other one was her daughter. Uh, which one did her boy? Which uh, ticket did her boyfriend pay for? Does she know? Was it Branch Avenue or was it? Uh, the one on Branch. The one on Branch Avenue. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave that open. So, ella, él va a dejar ese abierto hasta que llegue el pago. I'm going to charge her $85 for the one her daughter went through the light. Y te va a cobrar el, el de tu hija por 85. And the one that her boyfriend went through, I'm going, um, to, leave, I'm going to leave that open. She said that if... we get the check. And if we don't get the check, she's coming back. She said that she's not working right now and she wants to know if you can reduce the, the other one for I'm her. I'm going to put her on a payment plan. Te van a ponerle un plan de pago entonces. Actually, how old is your daughter? ¿Cuánto, qué edad tiene tu hija? 20 años. She's 20. 20. Mm -hmm. Well, her daughter can pay for it. Que tu hija puede pagarlo. Es que ella ahora fue que empezó a trabajar. She just started working. Yeah. She's got a bad attitude. I can see the look on her face. She can't, can't do it. Mm -hmm. It's uh, eighty-five dollars. The boyfriend's ticket, uh, Lisa. I have open here. Don't don't dispose of that ticket where I have open, because she said her boyfriend sent the check in yesterday. Don't don't hold your breath waiting for that check. All right, all right. It's eighty-five dollars. Okay. The other ticket is open. Eighty-five. Si quieres te damos tiempo para que lo pague. In a courtroom setting, just like in life, attitude is really very important. Most of the time, people come in, they're very humble, and I understand their situation, and I try to give them a break. When people come in with a bad attitude, it just rubs me the wrong way. Plus, when I think they're trying to deceive me, it's even worse. I think she understood English. She was speaking English perfectly. Also, you saw her facial expression. She understood every word that I was saying. She was blaming everyone else for her problems except herself. And so I think justice was served. The Bible says, you reap what you sow. Michael Anderson. Good morning, Your Honor. <clears throat> Good morning, sir. You have one parking ticket, Mr. Anderson, on Waybasa Street. Yeah, that's the loading zone. Yeah. Uh, you want to move your hands from your parking place? Yeah. She uh, clocked me, and I made two trips. So were, you, were you loading? I was loading, and then what I left. Were you loading? Uh, coffee. Then I went back to the roastery, I got more stuff, I came back and I unloaded it again and that's when she hit me. Inspector Quinn, are you satisfied that he was in the... Yes, Your Honor, but loading? the only thing I would mention is all this, don't have the roastery coffee before you come in the court again because yeah. you're a little jittery right now. Yeah. But, <laughs> Your Honor, uh, if he was loading, it was a loading zone. Uh, I believe the motorists around the city would move to dismiss. Yeah, what he's really upset about is that you didn't bring him a cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah. That's what he's upset about. All right, a motion of the prosecution, the matter is dismissed. Thank you, sir. All right, good luck to you. Have a Where's your daughter this morning? She's at work. Is she going to give you the money for the tickets? That's like pulling teeth. Like pulling teeth? Well, go to Home Depot and buy a pliers. Huh? <laughs> Are you kidding? Sociable.